All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how will Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash? I like get double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to the brothers out there throughout the full corner of the earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. This is Brother Kazatba, Shemar War. Just come back with another quick lesson. Deep Spirit and pray, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. And um, we're basically going to go into, you know, wisdom, okay? Because we know according to Job 20, 28 and 28, wisdom is the fear of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, but there's more to wisdom than what it does for you um, in the spirit. So without further ado, let the brother get the scripture. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 17. Now when I considered these things in myself mm -hmm. and pondered them in my heart. Well, that means he took deep thought into uh, these things that he's about to uh, read, okay? All right. Those things that he wrote down, he took very deep thought into into these things, man. Right? Meditation. All right. Having, you know, the Lord basically on his mind all the time, he came to these conclusions. Can you read it? It says, how that it, I mean, how, how that to be allied unto wisdom mm -hmm. is immortality. The uh, ally means a friend. Okay. To be friend, to be a friend unto wisdom is to have what, bro? Immortality. Immortality. Because look, remember, coming to Job 20 and 28, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So if you fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you're going to be humble, you're going to meek. And the scriptures say that the meek inherit the earth. Okay? That means what? They're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven, which is forever, eternal. So by default, if you fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai, which is wisdom, you're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Can you read? Verse 18. And great pleasure... It is to have her friendship and in her works. It says great pleasure is to have the friendship. All right. Be close with wisdom. Because ultimately what? Because we know country scriptures that uh, what accompanies wisdom, life, peace, you know, uh, you know, and basically paradise, man. A long life and peace. All right. Lords will be a part of the elected nation of Israel that we get the first go rounds of this. Okay. You know, that we have that wisdom now. So when that time comes, we'll be beamed up and our bodies can be changed into uh, immortal body, bodies, man. Right? Okay, can you, can you read it? Uh, verse 18 again. And great pleasure it is to have her friendship mm -hmm. and in the works of her hands are infinite riches. Because mm -hmm, what? With wisdom, you're going to deal correctly with certain decision making. Okay. And within that, it can give you riches, actual physical riches. Okay, you know, you, you know how to probably deal with money, you know how to probably deal with people. Okay, and what in the kingdom of heaven, Lord, will be a part of the elect. You know, all that wisdom, knowledge, understanding is going to be programmed in us. Okay, you know, the scriptures is going to be living through us. Okay, you know, and what we're going to be rich, or not only just spiritually, but what you know, uh, physically also, because the elites they're going to cough everything up. Okay. You know, so through the wisdom of Yahweh by Shema you actually gain riches, man. Lord's will be part of that. We we get to see the first go rounds of that. Keep reading. Come on. We're gonna be uh many messiahs, you know, like how Lord Yahweh Shai is uh the living embodiment of the word. Mm -hmm. You know, we receive that new covenant, we're gonna be like many versions of that. That's right. All right, it says, um and in her ex I mean in Slakia, and in the exercise of confidence with her prudence and then talking with her a good report and talking with her okay being you know wisdom meeting you with every thought all right you're gonna be uh the scripture said talk about having this uh having a discernment okay discernment goes into proper decision making which all you know stems back to the fear of the lord because if you fear yahweh bashim yahweh shai there's things you're gonna do and there's things that you're not gonna do okay all right it said, it said, what was it going to do, bro? Read that last part again. It says, <clears throat> and, in the, and in the exercise of comp, I mean, in conference with her, prudence. No, go back a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it says, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches. Mm -hmm. And in the exercise of conference with her, prudence. And in talking with her, a good report. It says a good report, because why are you going to be 
making proper decisions and it's gonna be made known like yo this man he's been making all the right decisions or right, in the spirit you know he's been he's been in the spirit of the lord you know he's a great leader you know because that all stems from wisdom man okay this is why wisdom is the principal thing all right and with all like getting get uh, uh understanding okay you know get wisdom and get understanding okay you know, because uh, we're quoting, you'd rather get Job uh, 20 and 28 since we've been quoting it this whole time. You know, because it tells you what, what is true wisdom and understanding according to the scriptures. Got it? Yeah. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that is wisdom. Mm -hmm. So the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. All right, what else? And to depart from evil is understanding. And apart from evil, the ways of this world, and apart from wickedness, all right, is understanding. All right, you fear Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. What are you understanding? If I don't fear the Lord and I keep on indulging in evil, eventually I will be destroyed. Okay, you know, the wickedness will destroy me. Okay, you know, that's the mind frame of a wise man. This is why we got to be talking and 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 being with love being with wisdom okay sophia these scriptures all right because they're gonna give you even more immortality peace you know you're gonna be found with a good report in the eyes of you how about shimei what else brother go back it says uh verse 8 <clears throat> wisdom of solomon 8 and 18 and great pleasure it is to have her friendship. Mm -hmm. This is a great pleasure it is to have her friendship. And what else, bro? And in the works of her hands are infinite riches. Mm -hmm. And the extra, and in the exercise of conference with her prudence, and in talking with her, a good report. Yeah, yeah. See, and it said prudence. You know, a prudent man perceived the evil. Okay, a wise man. Perceive the evil and what hide of himself and what Yahweh by Shimei was shy. All right, so all these all these things encompass encompass what a wise man is gonna actually do and how he's gonna move in this earth, all right, and how he's gonna use the wisdom. Okay, he's gonna be making right decisions. He's gonna be prudent, which a prudent man perceive the evil and hide of himself. And who Yahweh by Shimei was shy, who the warning calls God and Jesus Christ. Yahweh being a true name of the heavenly Father. And Yahweh shy being a true name who the warning calls Jesus Christ. All right. It says he's going to be prudent, you know, in, uh, in the councils or uh, conferences, which is, uh, uh, you know, more of talkings and stuff, you know, that wisdom is going to meet him with every thought, man. Okay, keep reading. I went about, I went about seeking how to, <clears throat> it's lucky, I went about seeking how to take her to me. Mm -hmm. Boy, you went to go seek, how can I gain this wisdom, Okay. Same thing with King uh, King Solomon was saying, man. You know, Lord, you know, give me the wisdom to judge the people. He was seeking after that that uh, that true way to be uh, uh, found worthy in the eyes of Yahweh by Shemuel was shy, man. Okay, you know, he wanted that wisdom to govern the people. All right, and this is the same thing that we should be wanting in these times: the wisdom of the Lord to govern not only ourselves but eventually be governors and rulers over the peoples. All right, the people of this earth, you know? Uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. Mm -hmm. So Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and read. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord, or Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and read. All right? Now I'm just read with your uh, eyes and your mind, okay? Because people in the Christian church do that. But it actually means to get the true understanding. Can you read it? No one of these shall fail mm -hmm. we mean nothing in this book all right is a lie everything that's written in the book already has happened is happening as we speak and will happen in the near future okay can you read it none shall want her mate i mean you can't pair this book with no other book all right this book stands alone as the one true book of the heavenly father's only begotten son yahweh bahashim yahweh shai for my mouth have commanded and his spirit has gathered them. That's right. The spirit of the Lord has gathered the elect. Okay. He's gathering the elect right now as we speak. The Lord's will be a part of that number. The Lord is gathering his elect to deliver them out of this place of America. Okay. All right. And they're going to hearken into the wisdom of these scriptures. 
which is ultimately what at the end of the day what is going to give them back to what the brother originally brought out is going to give them immortality or uh, they're going to be prudent okay all right they're going to uh, have that uh um it said it was said immortality prudence uh peace okay they're gonna have peace all these things are right? they're gonna depart from evil they're gonna fear you how about shimel shy all right why because they got that wisdom the lord gave them that wisdom at the end of the day okay to fear him and to seek after him okay any more never no that was it no. that was it okay hey right, so and just to want to get some more you know on the wisdom okay there's more to you know a wisdom than just fearing the lord you know there's multiple things that encompasses wisdom and are rewarded for you having wisdom okay the fear of yahweh by shimei Shai, and understanding which is what departing from the evil of this world okay so hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of israel just want to get more further into that so brothers can understand and a few sisters also so with that let's give all praises honor and glory to the heavenly father as only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash, let it give double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and tell us the truth according to the Bible. And shall I want to all the brothers out there that the full comes there, pushing the word and oration is sincerity until next time to the elect. We say shall I want. Shall I want.